Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss about select when in CL program. So here I have created one program. So let's see that. So in this program, first of all, I am declaring one variable named as opt, which is basically for option, and the decimal it is of decimal type of length four. And initially, we have assigned the value as one. Okay. So now I will tell you about select command so select command is basically used suppose we have multiple commands or there is uh, there is a chance like whenever we are getting the option from third party tool or something uh, which uh, may be from the same program and on the basis of that value we want to uh, process few lines of code conditionally so in that case we can use also like uh, nested if else but it is not good approach so there is one best op uh, option for doing the same things which is select and when condition so how to start that so for start that you have to you have to simply write s-e-l-e-c-t which is select and same thing will be ended by end select command so these are the two commands select and end select so whatever the thing we will write here inside this select and end select it will be, will be considered as so group command of select okay now on line number 17 we are using when so when statement or when command is used to check the command so you have to simply write when then take f4 and here in this condition field you can write your condition let's say uh, here i'm checking the opt condition if opt is one means option is one then in command field i'm writing two so either you can directly specify that command which you want to execute for option one or you can give do why I'm giving do here because I want to create a let's say I have few lines of code which I want to execute for condition one so in that case whatever the thing I will write inside the do and not and do it will be considered as a that block which will be executed for option one field okay so for now just I'm using one single command that is SNDPG msg command and where we are writing the message as opt option one okay so whenever the one command uh, option is one it will simply print the option one as a text on a screen okay so this is the first command. similarly we can give other commands uh, conditions also okay so here on line number 23 we are using when again and this time we are checking for opt2 similarly on line number 29 we are checking for opt3 so these are the three conditions that we are checking and accordingly it will print that option in text form now another command we can use inside this uh, select and select which is optional so this is optional field which is otherwise so let's say all these three commands failed and it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, comes as a uh, true condition so in that case we want to um, execute some specific line of code when these three condition fails so for that reason we will use one command which is otherwise and inside that otherwise you can simply write otherwise and then take f4 and then simply you can put your command either you can put your command let's say i want to use sndpg msg command so i can directly put it here but if i want i have multiple line that i want to execute in that case you can simply write here do and then just hit enter and whenever we are starting any do condition then we have to end with end do statement or end do command and inside that whatever we will write here it will be considered as otherwise condition means default condition and then simply you can use and select to terminate your select block so initially we have an uh, like we have assigned the value as one so in that case it should print option one as a output so let's try to compile it and see the output so i'm calling it so yes it is printing as option one which is correct now try with some other option let's say we have passed it as three in this case it should print output as three means option three so yes it is printing option three why because it enters in select block then it checks for condition one when when opt is not one then it will simply skip this then go for second condition second condition is also not true then it will uh, skip that block also 
and then it will check for opt3 condition which is true so it simply print or whatever the things written inside this do and end to it will be executed and then it simply goes to the end select to close the block now we will see for otherwise condition this time I am passing value as 5 so the opt is, uh, is not 1 not 2 not 3 it is 5 so in that case it will directly go to the default block or otherwise block so it should print output as default option so it is printed correctly so this is how we can utilize this select and and uh, select and select when these are some uh, select group commands so I hope uh, you all are uh, it is clear to all of you like how to utilize this select uh, command for executing the lines of code sp specifically for some condition so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching texture method